Thanks, Jessica. Thunderstorms are common in the spring and summer months and can sometimes turn severe. A storm is considered severe if it is producing winds of 58 miles per hour or greater and or hail one inch in diameter or greater and or a tornado. Meteorologist Brittany Beggs breaks down the types of storms to look for through the spring and summer along with the dangerous weather they often bring. The structure and formation of a storm can give meteorologists insight on what type of severe weather threat will come from certain storms. There are three typical formations, isolated cells, supercells, and linear cells. In mid-Missouri, we get all structures and all forms of severe weather, but some types are more common during certain months. In March and April, it's more common for a severe threat to be large hail as opposed to straight line winds. These thunderstorms are isolated cells or multi-cells. The main ingredient for hail formation is where the freezing line is located. Freezing temperatures are needed in order for ice to form. As a rule of thumb, if the freezing line is below 12,000 feet, this is cold enough aloft for hail to reach the surface. As opposed to June and July, the freezing line is further aloft. The hail then has enough time to melt and fall as liquid. In June and July, the surface is heating up. The main ingredient here is the temperature. The warmth creates instability or lift in the atmosphere. The warmer the temperature, the more instability is provided. Another severe threat is damaging winds. Storms need updrafts and downdrafts in order to be sustained. It's the downdraft that causes damaging winds. These can be more commonly found in linear storms, which is a long line of thunderstorms, and tornadoes. Most tornadoes are spawned from supercell thunderstorms. While tornadoes can occur at any time of year, they are more likely to form in mid-May to early June. The classic structure of a supercell storm may have a flat updraft base and a wall cloud underneath its updraft. When the conditions are right, a tornado will form underneath the wall cloud. A classic supercell will also have rotation, creating a hook when it's displayed on a radar reflectivity. This classic hook indicates possible rotation. Understanding the structure of these storms can help us to determine what type of severe threat will occur. Freezing temperatures aloft are necessary for hail, warmer temperatures are necessary for strong updrafts, and the changing in the wind speeds with height give us the, that rotation that results in tornadic storms. From May to June, it's especially important to be on guard as storms have a greater potential of becoming tornadic.